Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. My name's Dom, I'm the Chief Tech. So today we're going to be working on this Galaxy Fit 2. It doesn't turn on at all, it's got some corrosion on the contact, so we'll be replacing them, replacing the battery and seeing what's inside. So grab yourself a coffee and I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so Galaxy Fit 2. It's not working at all. I've tried charging it, tried turning it on, and absolutely nothing. So what we're gonna do is first get these straps off. So they just push in and you can pull out. So push the button in and it should pull out like that. Put them to one side. And then from here, I can already see there's uh, some corrosion on the contacts and I've tried cleaning them up, but they're kind of pitted. So I don't think it's making a connection when it's going into the charging cradle. So, so I don't think it's making a connection when it goes into the charging cradle. So let, oh, you know what, I'll quickly zoom in and I'll show you them contacts. So as you can see, these contacts are a bit worse for wear. They're a bit pitted. And what by pitted I mean is they've worn out slightly in the middle. So. You know what, we'll replace them when we get it apart. Okay, so first things first, get some tweezers. They've got these little rubber bits inside where the screws are. So let's see if we can get this apart. There's one. Make sure we don't lose these. Two. Right, so let's get this apart. We need tiny little Phillips. Right, so this is a perfect opportunity to try out this new set I've got from Edgar. I'll link his uh, channel down below. So we need a tiny little Phillips. Okay, so I need to pry it up now. There's a seam down here that I need to be very careful of and just go from there. So, see if I can use this spudger to begin with. That's promising, little click. There we go, we've got one. The other side, just need to pull it apart. There we go. Right, so these are the contacts that I need to replace. Underneath here, there'll be a battery as well, I'll replace that. Okay, so next is these connectors here so one and uh, two yeah two Boing. right so two connectors there and then this should lift out Then you got this, the main body of the chip. Put that to one side. And then here you have the battery. We'll get, go ahead and replace that for the one I've got here. So 
So I'll pry upwards from the bottom here, being very careful. And then put the new one in. Maybe put some tape on the bottom of it to make sure it sticks. All right, so that's how I change the battery for that. Press firmly there. Okay, so that's the battery changed. Make sure we get this board the right way around. So the contact strips there. We'll make sure we put that on the right side. There are little tabs that hold this in, so make sure you line up everything perfectly. So you see these, I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're little plastic tabs that would hold the board in place. So don't be too forceful with this, it's a really thin board. If anything, you, you're probably better off putting one side in and then being very careful with the other side. So that's in, that's in. Now this side needs to go in. Yep, that's in. Tabs are over it, that's over it. Now we put the connectors back on. So that one goes here. clicked in nicely. Now that bit's done. Okay, moving on to the contacts. As you can see, these contacts are pitted, so I'm gonna have to replace them. So to do that, I'm gonna pry upwards gently on these, and I've bought some new ones on eBay from China. So, see if we can use a better pair of tweezers actually. There we go, that's one. Slightly damaged that, so I'll be careful next time. I'll show you the end result in a minute. That's that one, cool. Both contacts are out. Let's get these replaced. So, this one definitely goes here just because of the pattern. As you can see now, that's uh, in and nice and shiny. Should make a better contact when compared to the last one that was inside it. Okay, so that's the end product. Contacts look a lot nicer now. I'll show you the contacts that I took off it. Okay, so this is the old contact. You can see it's corroded and a little bit pitted. Okay, so the outer shell's done, new contacts, new battery. Now this wouldn't even turn on before, so let me just make sure put this back together correctly. So this got contacts here, they meet up with that. So it goes in this way, very gently put that together. Huh. Very simple to put back together. All right, let's get the charging cradle. Okay, so there's the charge cable, or cradle, sorry. And it's now charging. Awesome, before, nothing. So contacts are good, battery's good, and that's back to life. So 
3%. Nice. Okay, that was a lot more than it was doing before. Should have really showed you, but yeah, it, it wouldn't come alive at all. Um, I did manage to get it up to a little bit of a flicker of a charge by just rotating it slightly and getting the contacts to meet up properly. But, oh, nice success. Leave that to charge now. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you've learned something. I've uh, had a bit of fun with that. That was a nice little 10, 15 minute video for me. So yeah, like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. And remember, if I can fix it, you can fix it too. So catch you on the flip side.